So, a quick project. This is after a discussion with HLI I had about a week ago. Uh, we have a micro bit, which is sliding around, so it's come off a blue tack. Uh, hey, we have a circuit, which uses a 2N2222 transistor. Uh, MPN transistor, I believe it is. I've not lost a date sheet for like more than half an hour, so I might be wrong. Some AAA batteries, rechargeables, 1.2 volts each. And a fan that comes from this lolly from Poundland, which I've completely gutted. But it's a 3 volt motor fan. Nice. So what have I done? Uh, after a discussion with Rachel, she wanted to keep cool. So we made a fan that feeds the temperature. And then if it goes over a certain temperature, it keeps her cool. So the micro bit's got a temperature sensor built into the CPU. So if I touch the micro bit, it'll get warm. And there we go. You can see it kicks alive. I am not pressing the button either. It's all just reading the temperature. So now I go over this side, you can see it a bit more clearly, so you know I'm not touching the button. So what's happening is. Yeah, so let's just stop you from making a noise. There we go. That'll do. It had to have the last word. So the micro bit is reading the temperature. If it goes above 30 degrees, what happens is pin zero, which this is connected to here, mechanically using an M4 screw, sends a signal to the transistor saying, turn on, and the transistor turns on, and it connects one side of the motor to the power, to the ground, sorry. And the new side of the motor is connected directly to three volts. So when I turn it on, Circuit's complete, motor turns on to life. And hopefully this is all going to fit inside of a baseball cap bought from Primark last week. Mm, good luck to us all. Cheers.